Hey everyone, so today we're gonna to break down some of the recent visual effects that we did for the series Animal Crossing Adventures, specifically focusing on episode five when we did all the bug catching. If you haven't already, be sure to go and watch that video that we did on bug catching in Animal Crossing. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe for videos twice a week. So jumping into our topic today, 3D animation. Now to be clear, I did not actually 3D model these bugs on my own. I actually bought them off of Turbo Squid and then animated them from there. Turbo Squid is where I get most of my 3D models, and they're a great resource because a lot of their models are very cheap and even free. And to be clear, this video is not sponsored by Turbo Squid. I just like using their service. And some models are even rigged for animation already. In fact, the butterfly model that we got was pre-animated with this movement, so I didn't really have to actually do any animation work on this. So yeah, I can't take all the credit. As far as the process goes, I would first 3D track the video that we're gonna put the bug on in After Effects, and then pick points within that 3D track to make a solid in camera in an area where I believe the bug is going to be in the shot. I'd export that composition into a Cinema 4D project and then open it in the program from there. I'd put the original footage projected in the background and then see how the track is transferred over. If everything looks good, I'll drop in my bug model. For some of the bug models, I had to edit them a bit to make sure the anchor points and the wings were in the right place. I'd sort of have to break down the skeletons a bit to identify which joint is which. Once it's in my comp, I'll take the data from the track solid and apply that to my 3D model. From there, it should line up in the right place. I would usually have to mess around with the sizing a bit to get it right. And there you have it. Done right? Well, not quite. I'd have to then animate the bug's wings, legs, or whatever in accordance to the scene. If the bug is just in the air, animating just the wings is fine. But if it's landed, I'd have to go and animate the body a bit to make it look a little less rigid. After animating it, then comes the lighting. And I actually went over all these steps in a previous video before. You should check it out. For scenes like this, I usually like to use a physical sky in Cinema 4D and then change the weather to something similar to the footage. This usually helps save time with lighting and keeps things pretty even and soft. Then I'll set up my render settings, which usually include ambient occlusion and global illumination. Again, I go over these topics a little more in depth than that previous video. Once it's rendered out, it'll make a photo sequence and I'll put that back into After Effects. And if it's set up correctly, it should just line up to where I had it in Cinema 4D. From here, I just need to add some color correction and motion blur. I like using the plugin Real Smart Motion Blur. Again, I'm not affiliated with any of these programs or plugins or whatever. I just really like using them. And from there, we're pretty much good to go. I just need to finish up any After Effects work that needs to be done for the shot. And then, repeat the process again for the next one. Honestly, it wasn't really that long of a process to make these shots because once I kind of got the hang of the process, I started getting through them pretty quickly. And for some of the shots where bugs are just flying in the air, I can reuse the wing animations from other shots and just copy and paste them over. The only one that was very challenging was the spider. It took me a few tries to really get it right, and in the end, I still think it could have been a little bit better, but it was a cheap model, and I think I got the job done. And in a nutshell, that's how I did this effect. It's pretty easy to do it if you're just getting started in the 3D animation. If there's more CK effects that you want me to break down, be sure to comment those down below. And again, be sure to like and subscribe. I put out videos twice a week, Thursdays and Sundays. Lastly, my Instagram's a thing. So check it out if you wanna see some of my photography and a couple more of my personal projects that I do. With that, I hope you have a nice weekend and I'll see you this Sunday. Bye everyone.